So what is the word open in open AI mean? To Elon at the time, Ilya has talked about this in the email exchanges and all this kind of stuff. What does it mean to you at the time? What does it mean to you now? I would definitely pick a different, speaking of going back with an Oracle, I'd pick a different name. Um, one of the things that I think OpenAI is doing that is the most important of everything that we're doing is putting powerful technology in the hands of people for free as a public good. Not We're not, you know, we don't run ads on our free version. We don't monetize it in other ways. We just say it's part of our mission. We want to put increasingly powerful tools in the hands of people for free and get them to use them. And I think that kind of open is really important to our mission. I think if you give people great tools and teach them to use them or don't even teach them, they'll figure it out and let them go build an incredible future for each other with that, uh, that's a big deal. So if we can keep putting like free or low cost or free and low cost powerful AI tools out in the world, uh, I think it's a huge deal for how we fulfill the mission. Um, open source or not, yeah, I think we should open source some stuff and not other stuff. Uh, the It does become this like religious battle line where nuance is hard to have, but I think nuance is the right answer. So he said, change your name to closed AI and I'll drop the lawsuit. I mean, is it going to become this battleground in, in the land of memes about I, the I think name? that speaks to the seriousness with which Elon means the lawsuit. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's like an astonishing thing to say, I think. like, Well, I don't think the lawsuit, may, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think the lawsuit is legally serious. It's more to make a point about the future of AGI and the company that's currently leading the way. So. Look, I mean, Grok had not open sourced anything until people pointed out it was a little bit hypocritical. And then he announced that Grok will open source things this week. And I don't think open source versus not is what this is really about for him. Well, we'll talk about open source and not. I do think maybe criticizing the competition is great. Just talking a little shit, that's great. But friendly competition versus like, I personally hate lawsuits. Yeah, look, I think this whole thing is like unbecoming of a builder. And I respect Elon as one of the great builders of our time. And um, I know he knows what it's like to have like haters attack him. And it makes me extra sad he's doing it to us. Yeah, he's one of the greatest builders of all time, potentially the greatest builder of all time. It makes me sad. And I think it makes a lot of people sad. Like there's a lot of people who've really looked up to him for a long time and said this, I said, you know, in some interview or something that I missed the old Elon and the number of messages I got being like that exactly encapsulates how I feel. I think he should just win. He should just uh, make X Grok beat GPT, and then GPT beats Grok, and it's just a competition. And that's it's beautiful for everybody. But on the question of open source, do you think there's a lot of companies playing with this idea? It's quite interesting. I would say Meta, surprisingly, mm -hmm. has led the way on this, or like uh, at least took the first step in the game of chess of like really open sourcing the model. Of course, it's not the uh, state of the art model, but open sourcing Llama. And you know, Google is flirting with the idea of open sourcing a smaller version. Have you, what are the pros and cons of open sourcing? Have you played around with this idea? Yeah, I think there there is definitely a place for open source models, particularly smaller models that people can run locally. I think there's huge demand for. Um, I think there will be some open source models, there will be some closed source models. Uh, this It won't be unlike other ecosystems in that way.